All right, all right. LDMMAC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks. So, old Whisker Biscuit. Old Whisker Biscuit ball headed Dana White. Uh, basically, you know, he's been he's been kind of toying around with the idea of going into boxing now for a couple of years. And, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of like throwing that out there again. And, folks, you know, I got to be honest. Um, I'm not a big Dana White fan. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this ball-headed Whisker Biscuit bastard, at, at, I mean, at all, okay? I mean, I made songs about him. Crystal clean is the man behind that shine. But with all that being said, okay, I think Dana White is needed in boxing. I'm going to tell you why, okay? Right now, you know, see, people always say, Man, you know, uh, why you start covering women's MMA? Why is it, it's, it's bad for a man to be covering women's MMA. That's kind of creepy, you know, but then it's like, uh, it's like 10 other people that do the same thing. But, you know, I'm the only problem that these people seem to have a problem with me because, you know, I guess I'm not going to hold my tongue for these idiots. But, but, it, but anyway, so Dana White is needed. Okay. And I cover boxing. For the first three years of my channel existence, you know, and I've been what, on YouTube, I, I think for, for two and a half years of my channel, I, I covered nothing but boxing. And, you know, I've been watching boxing since I was 10. So I know, I know about the sport of boxing, you know, pretty thoroughly. But it's like, you know, we don't get the fights we want to see. That's been a major problem in boxing, okay? You know, everybody talking about, well, it's a business. Well, it's a business. Well, it's this. Everybody want to talk about pay-per-view numbers. People want to talk about ticket sales. People, you know, instead of the best fighting the best, you know, we, we don't get that in boxing. So in comes Dana White, you know, MMA, the UFC. He brings some of the, the world's best competitors in the world fighting in mixed martial arts. And, you know, I'm seeing the best fights. Like, you can go to an MMA card in, in the UFC. Okay, you can go in Invicta. It don't matter. But you're going to see the people that are equally matched up. And I got to give Dana White a lot of credit, man. I got to give him, Sean Shelby, Nick Maynard. I, I, I got to give these guys credit, man. These guys put on hell of a fights. And as a fan, you know, I feel good paying my $9.99 to UFC Fight Pass. I don't feel good if I had to pay $9.99 for the zone app. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. The only reason why I purchased the zone because... I knew Cindy Dandois was fighting, and Cindy Dandois, you know, had a picture of my logo on her, on her butt. That's the only reason why. But I'm, I'm going to be honest. I mean, the zone, to me, is worthless, okay, if it's not MMA. The, the, I mean, honestly, the, the zone app, to me, is worthless. And, of course, I'm going to cancel that crap. Of course, I'm going to cancel it. And then, you know, if Cindy fight again, I'll buy it again, you know, because I'll pay, I'll support her. But, I mean, that, that's it. I mean, the DAZN app is worthless. It's crap to me. But, you see, here's what I'm saying, man. As an MMA fan, I'm really willing to pay, okay? I'm willing to pay for the best fighting the best. I I'm willing. And I'll pay my UFC fight, uh, fight Pass, you know, and I'll pay for my pay-per-views on UFC Fight Pass. I'll pay all that, and I happily do it. Because I know that each, you know, UFC card, each fight night, you know, I'm getting the best fights, man. I mean, you know, we got to watch Francis Ngano in a 45-second knockout. I mean, we got to watch, you know, all these great Chinese fighters go in there and dominate. Okay, you know, dominate the likes of Lauren Mueller, uh, dominate the likes of Jessica Aguilar. I mean, you know, and, and we, we watched Suri Kondo get the hell beat out of her. I mean, folks, you know, the best fighting the best. And then we got this weekend coming up. You know, we got Antonina Shevchenko fighting this weekend. Okay, and then, you know, December the 8th, we got Valentina and, 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 and Joanna. You know, those two are squaring off for the 125-pound uh, uh, title. Okay, then uh, December 29th, you got Chris Cyborg versus Amanda Nunes. I mean, guys, do you understand that as an MMA fan, Dana White, the, the UFC, Nick Mayne, they are providing us with the best fight and the best. And they do that consistently. That's why, you know, I'm on here, I'm doing mixed martial arts. That, that's why I'm doing it. A couple of years ago, I would have never considered it. I would have never considered it because I don't want to learn about submissions. I, you know, I don't want to learn about submission defense. I don't want to learn about key. I understand boxing, but, you know, I took the time to learn a lot of that stuff because the best are fighting the best. You know, so Dana White going into boxing, he's going to force that issue. He's going to make these guys the best fight the best. And I'm going to tell you what he's going to do, man. He's going to be very tactical. See, he's going to go out to a couple of named fighters and he's going to have to pay them. He's going to have to pay them. But if he pay them well, pay them well enough, they'll come over. 
See, all Dana White need, you know, all he needs are two legit fighters. That's it. All he need to do is figure out a way to work with Al Heyman or top rank. Or, you know, it, all he got to do is figure out a way to get a legit fight. Make an offer they can't refuse. And Dana White will forcefully make these fights. He'll make these guys, he'll make them fight. See, that's the difference, man, right now. See, in boxing, you got this guy, don't want to fight this guy because they want to let the fight marinate. You know, or, or, you know, but you got these young hungry guys talking about, yeah, I'll fight anybody anywhere. But as soon as these guys rise up in the rankings, as soon as these guys get a title, you know, as soon as they get anything that's, that's a worth, then they don't want to fight the best because fighting the best, you know, is a damn risk. But see, Dana White don't give a damn about all that. If the fight, what I like about him is that if there's a fight, if fans are calling for a fight, damn it, we get that fight. I mean, we called for that Khabib fight. When Connor threw that darn dolly through the bus, oh, we called for that fight. Guess what? We got that fight. When Holly Holm was running her mouth, we said, okay, Holly Holm need to give Chris Cyborg work then. Chris Cyborg need to get in there. Well, I want to see Chris Cyborg uh, 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 wax Holly Holm ass. I, I, I want to see that. Guess what? We got Chris Cyborg versus Holly Holm. See, Dana White is going to provide these fights for us. And that's why I think he's good for boxing. Some people don't like it. I do. I like the idea of this guy actually going in there and making these guys fight. But he can't pay these boxes, you know, what, what, what these uh, MMA fighters make. He can't pay them that. He can't pay them. But you know what? It'll be attractive because some of his MMA guys will probably want to box. And then some of the boxers who all they do is box, they'll jump in there with these MMA guys as tune-up fights. I'm telling y'all, it'll be lucrative, but Dana White will force the action. Could you imagine having, I mean, I'm just speaking hypothetically because this probably would never happen. But him, him having Thurman, Thurman, Porter, Spence, and sign them to these contracts, and then but they got to fight each other. See, they, they have to fight each other. Because you know what he do when these guys say, I ain't fighting a person for whatever reason. See, Dana White and them, they don't play that. Dana will put your ass on the shelf for six months, and you ain't getting no, and you ain't getting no paycheck for six months. I mean, I've seen that happen when fighters refuse, uh, don't want to fight the best in their division. Oh, he put them on the shelf. See, this is what need to be in boxing. We need somebody who we need an asshole in boxing who going to tell these fighters, look, you fighting. I don't care what you're going to do, but you finna fight this person and you finna fight him today. And if you don't want to fight him today, then God dog it, you ain't getting no paycheck for a long time. You finna be on the shelf. That's what we need in boxing. This is what needed. Dana White is needed because I'm telling you, if this guy can put on multiple fights. Guess what all the other promoters are going to do? They're going to try to have to keep up with this guy. They're going to make the fights that we want to see. That's it. See, all this nonsense with Anthony Joshua, all this nonsense with Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Danny Gar, all this nonsense that we hear, that stuff, it, 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 would be, it would be non-existent because we would see the fights and get the fights that we want to see. And that, that's just the way that is. I'm in full support of this. I'm in full support. I hope Dana dabbles and gets into boxing. I hope he does. I'm done.